What is this? What is this? started with this video give it a thumbs up bro ski that's right click that like button all right bro we have some dope nintendo news items for this video and the first one is a dozy this came from nowhere there's going to be a new handheld console coming out in 2020 called the analog pocket. What does this look like? A Game Boy. <coughs> it's a Game Boy. It has four face buttons. And wait for it. Wait for it. It also docks. It's a handheld and a home console. Could the Nintendo Switch finally have its direct competition now here's the caveat it also plays game boy games whoa and so this is the analog pocket it looks like the front screen can slide up or down i'm not sure yet well here's the specifics all right the device has rechargeable batteries docks via hdmi so you can play your device on your tv with bluetooth controllers it's a 3.5 inch lcd screen and boasts a 1600 by 1440 resolution pretty good which sound which is yeah that is a pretty good screen all right it also isn't just for gaming it has a built-in nano loop app that's a popular synthesizer for making music um, on the Game Boy's original sound chip. And so this is interesting. Um, this is made by uh, the company. Uh, it's, a, it's in partnership with the English studio Kenyon Weston. Um, and they're, they've been known for making retro hardware in the past. And so Israel just subscribed while I'm recording this video. Subscribe, subscribe, and your name will pop up live right now while you're watching this. Gotcha. It's pre-recorded. But this is pretty dope, bro. If you're an old head, if you're a tech junkie, and you're looking to play some Game Boy games on the go, and be able to have it done. Oh, bro, I just looked at it in my game room. Check this out. Watch this. Bro, <laughs> big copy Nintendo. A lot of dudes don't know. Nintendo had the Switch way back in the 1990s, bro. What y'all know about this? The Super Game Boy Super Nintendo cartridge. What was it? You can play your Game Boy on the go. I have my Game Boy over there, but I'm not going to go pick it up. Yeah, you can play your Game Boy on the go. Bam! You know what? You, you want to dock? You want to play your Game Boy games on a home screen? Boop! You put it in this bad boy, put this in your Super Nintendo, and you could play. This was the Switch, boy. The Switch was alive in the 90s. Know your video game history. Super Game Boy. This is my original cartridge I had as a kid, too, bro. So, this is interesting. Comes out 2020. Um, if you just want to Game Boy games on a nice screen and you can also dock it, there you go. All right, <coughs> next news item. Bro, Pokemon News just dropped this morning. I wasn't home to watch it, so we're going to watch it live real quick. This is my live raw reaction. Pokemon Company, do not claim this video for audio. The 
This is it. New Gigantamax forms. What are the new forms? Pikachu. We're about to have a Gigantamax Pikachu. Yep. Yep. Super duper sized Pikachu. Gigantamax Pikachu. New move, G-Max. G-Max something. Oh, uh, R.I.P. Mimikyu. Paralyzes all opponents. Bro, Sword and Shield looking clean, bro. I'm probably going to end up getting Sword now. Receive Pikachu by using play records from Pokemon. Oh, you can get it from Pokemon. Let's go. Your save data. I need to beat. Let's go. Oh, man. So many games I still need to beat. G-Max Cuddle. Are you kidding me? <laughs> cuddle. <laughs> Gender opponents become infatuated. Oh, they fall in love. This Eevee by using from Pokemon. Let's go. Let's go. So your safe data from Let's Go transfers over. Oh. Gigantamax Charizard. G-Max Wild. Oh, he looks lit, bro. Bro, I say this all the time. This game has the best Pokemon designs I've ever seen, bro. These Pokemon designs are butterfly. Really? Gigantamax Butterfree! Butterfree. What was his move? What is it called? I didn't see it. Called it Poison Palace or Sleep Status. Dope. Uh-oh. Surfetch. What did it just say? They fell asleep. Early purchase. Early purchase bonus. This, this better include pre-order from the eShop. Through January to Oh! You get a new uh, Meow. He looks creepy, bro. Gigantamax and Meow. Gold Rush. Look at his body, bro. Look at his torso, bro. This is crazy. And earns an in-game cash bonus. Bro, shield is looking... Uh, Sword Shield is looking clean, bro. Sword Shield releasing November 15th. Of course, day one. I'm probably going to end up picking up Sword now. All right, so new Gigantamax types have been announced by the pokemon company dope 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 stuff next news item this is controversial bro and how politics has infiltrated video games blizzard has they were gonna have a launch event at the nintendo um store in new york but they canceled the event when the, the the original tweet promoting the event was flooded by hashtag boycott blizzard and hashtag stand with hong kong so there's a lot of issues going on over in china uh, right now uh, protests against their government and blizzard is a chinese owned by i think they're owned by tencent they're a chinese company they're owned by <coughs> um a chinese um a company and so there were protests against this event. Nintendo wanted to, no, not Nintendo, Blizzard wanted to play it safe. Blizzard canceled the event. Speaking of Overwatch, I'm liking Overwatch on the Switch, bruh. It's a dope game. I like it. I like it. There have been some websites, Kotaku, Polygon, complaining about it. But there is one legitimate complaint. Some matches, my character was taking a minute to load into the skirmishes, not the actual match. But other than that, gameplay is solid. I'm liking it, liking it. Overwatch on the Switch. It's in rotation with the sponsors. And so, um, Overwatch, there was some controversy with a launch event at the Nintendo Store. Bro, this next news item. I thought this was dope, bro. Check this out. In every Luigi's Mansion game, uh, Professor Egad gives Luigi... A old school retro device for Luigi to use in game um, as a device to help solve puzzles, defeat enemies, or whatever. Check out <laughs> this um, this go around for what the device is. The virtual boo. It's called the virtual boo. What y'all know about the virtual boy, boy? Oh, the red and black is hurting my eyes right now. They're putting the virtual boy in the game. Lit, lit, lit. Call it the virtual brute, bro. 
the weirdest controller Nintendo ever made. <laughs> Why you got two D pads, bro? Why you got two D pads, bro? <laughs> and so, um, the virtual boo, the virtual boy, makes his grand emergence in Luigi's Mansion 3, which I think is pretty dope. All right, next news item. Good news for the Switch. Witcher 3 is off to a fantastic start on the Switch concerning reviews. On Metacritic right now, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the complete edition for the Nintendo Switch, is standing at an 85, bro. That's high for Metacritic. And a user score of 8.6. And so, good, good, good stuff. It's crazy what CD Projekt Red was able to do to cram this huge game into the Switch. I so want to get this game but my backlog is backing up. I still need to beat Link's Awakening and Dragon Quest XI S before I buy any other games. Definitely still getting Pokemon. But Link's Awakening and Dragon Quest S, I got to beat those games, bruh. All right, dudes. Those are the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Hey, first of all, I only had like 14 games, bro. <laughs> Pathetic.